this is just some of the fun stuff that I get to do and I, uh, I don't know, have nothing better to do, <laughs> I guess. So uh, here we have a uh, tetrahedron. That's a 30, that's a 60 degree triangle, all right, all the way around and on four sides. So it's one of the, uh, it's actually the first of the solid shapes that you can make. You can make a tetrahedron you can make a cube and you can make a dodecahedron which requires pentag uh, pentagrams, pentagons. So uh, I get to do these kind of things especially in ketones because I don't need any more carbs and this is just like super fun for me. So first thing I recommend, just follow my little arrow, I make a drawing, alright? So what I did is I called the side of the pyramid S, alright? And then I know that if I break this in half, this S divided by 2, I wind up with a 30, 60, 90 right triangle on the face that I'm looking for. But I also need to find this 30, 60, 90 right triangle that makes up uh, from the centroid of this equilateral triangle. Uh, curious, just, just a little aside here, if I take a pendulum, a simple pendulum, and I string it from the vertex to the centroid, it will have the same time period as a physical pendulum from the vertex all the way to the center of the opposite side. Something just a little fun for you to, to cogitate upon. So here we go. Um, I need to find this angle, this theta. So tan of theta equals uh, b over a, and the side equals 1. So the first thing I had to do was find uh, this side s over 2 and I drew a relationship so I happen to know that the second uh, leg the longer of the two legs is radical 3 so I set up a uh, ratio so I have s over 2 is 2 radical 3 is a is to 1 and this length being a right here so that gives me s over 2 radical 3 now I need to find c and you're like, well, why do you have to find C? Because I have to find B. Now, B comes from the centroid up through to the point of the pyramid. So C, then, is S over 2, okay, uh, which is this triangle here. And then this is the hypotenuse, of course, coming down, the other S, right? So I have S over 2 over 1 is equal to C over radical 3, all right? because this side is in relation to this side, all right? So C turns out to be S radical 3 over 2. Now I use Pythagoras theory, and I need B, which is that center post. B squared equals C squared minus A squared. So here's C squared, all right? So uh, S squared 3 over 4, right, minus uh, a squared, and we knew that A was S over 2 radical 3, so S squared over 4 times 3, because it's now squared. And then I have a situation here where I have S squared 9 minus S squared, well, yeah, S squared over 12, because I had to make sure that these denominators were uh, equal before I can subtract. And if I factor out the S squared, I get 9 minus 1, which is 8. So I have S squared times 8 over 12, and I can now turn that into S squared 2 over 3. All right? Well, that's neat, but I need the square root of that because I need B. So B squared, or the square root of B squared, is equal to the square root of S squared 2 over 3. That leaves me with S 2 over 3, a radical 2 over 3. Now... Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take B over A because I have those two, right? I do have B, and then I have A from back here, S over 2 radical 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and multiply by the reciprocal, okay? So I'm taking S over 2 radical 3, and I'm going to multiply it. That's going to give me 2 radical 6 over 3 uh, because the S's cancel. And I'm going to multiply that to uh, uh, three over, radical 3 over radical 3 in order to, I forget what they call it, but it's kind of like rationalize the denominator. So that gives me 2 radical 18 over 3. 
and I can go ahead and simplify that further because 18 is 9 times 2. That pops the 3 out, and now I have 6 radical 2 over 3, and I do the final um, 6 over 3 is 2 over 1. That leaves me with 2 radical 2. So that is the exact tangent. Sorry. That is the exact tangent of that angle. So if I take the arctan of that angle, that equals 70.5 degrees. Quote our down on Strandum. I uh, hope you had fun going through this. And uh, uh, it took me about 10 minutes, I guess. So this is just kind of fun stuff. Um, and this will segue into a origami phone holder that I'm going to do that's going to use this tetrahedron. And that will be able to prop your phone up to 70 degrees, which is kind of cool because it, it'll sit upright. And if you're watching a video or something, it'll, it'll be kind of interesting. All right. So we'll uh, see you guys on the next one. If you like this content, go ahead and you know share it with a friend. And, and we'll talk soon. Bye.